as we continue our road trip across the United States. Our first stop is Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where we enjoy some amazing southern food. Then we head to Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, from the crystal clear emerald waters all the way to its pristine white sandy shores. This truly is one of the most phenomenal beaches in the United States. Just up the coast in Destin, we had to make a visit to Fuddpuckers, famous for its great food, fun atmosphere, and home to the world's greatest alligator park. We are now on our way to Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, but we didn't want to push it too hard, so we decided to stay a night in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Port of Greater Baton Rouge. We got face in the back back there. He's a little nervous. He gets nervous going up on these high bridges like this. And but we just reassure him it's gonna be okay, Chase. It's gonna be okay, little guy. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. We're rouging it up. To the rouge where the people Daddy go. Daddy has rouge. no energy. Daddy needs a beer. <sighs> Come on, Daddy. Get your shoes on. I watched the motorhome. Now I'm just like. Bring some more grapes just with you. Hit me. Eat some grapes on the car. On the car. Eat some grapes on top of the car. Eat some grapes in the car while you're driving. Eat grapes in the car. I knew it was time to pull over that I was like, dude, I, I need to eat some food or something. Okay, so we're, the place where we're going tonight is called... Starting route to Parain Seafood Restaurant. Parain Seafood Restaurant. <laughs> Parain <laughs> Seafood thank Restaurant. Very, thank you, sir, for the Cajun assistance. Creole. Apparently it was on diners, drive-in, and dining, and, and dining with yeah. drive-ins. Diners, diners and diners and drive-ins and dives. Dine. From Bobby Flay, or Bobby, no. Like you guys don't even know. <laughs> Is it recording? Oh, we're about to go into this big wooden thing over here and eat some crawdads. Some crawdads? Crawdads, crawfish. Same thing. Crawfish, not yeah. crawdads. And our first time in Louisiana, so we're going to try out some of the cuisine that is associated with Louisiana and Baton Rouge. Perrain's seafood restaurant was top rated on Yelp and Google and was definitely worth the visit. So we got the barbecue bacon wrapped shrimp. And the fried green tomatoes. Look how yummy tomatoes. that looks. Oh my god. So I'm gonna mess around with these. I was thinking it was gonna be a crab cake, but it's a fried green tomato. Yeah. So good. Oh. I've never had anything like it. Probably like I don't know. Flavor wise, it's probably the best food we've had on our trip so far, maybe, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, Louisiana. We're getting to the top of the list right now. This is great. Oh, boudin balls. Oh, my oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Boudin balls. Round two with appetizers. And we've got a bowl of... Ch oh, no. J bowl, I was going to say chicken gumbo. gumbo. A bowl of gumbo. And then what are those? Bodine oh, egg rolls? Bodine. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Bodine egg rolls. They're good? I know. You said it's hot? Spicy. <laughs> I'm trying some spice. Uh, in the middle, like it's rice. Or, it has like sausage. That's the bodine or bodine, whatever you say it. Yeah, yeah it's got soft. the. Yeah, outside it's crunchy. So. That's like the bodine. It's a good equilibrium. <laughs> oh no, Chase said it. Equilibrium. The gum was so good and thick, I can eat with a fork. Look at the delicacy we got here. Blackened oysters. Now that looks yummy. Oh, so good. You like those, Jamie? That tastes like the ocean. Everything here is cooked so well. Perfection. So much flavor. We're eating good tonight. What'd you get? We got bread pudding with a side of ice cream. Wait, it's white chocolate. Shut white up. chocolate bread pudding. White Shut bread up. Pudding. You're pulling my leg. We're pulling no legs here now. That is so good. Look at the, what's on the top? Like little Duck nuts or room. something? Almonds or something? Oh my gosh. That is amazing. The texture is so good because the top's like honey, but the bottom is bread. It's almost like a gelatin top. Shut up. Okay, I'm going to try a bite of this you thing. Guys, it's amazing. Give me my first Not part. as good as the Bucky's brisket though. Oh, gross. We're in the back streets of Louisiana right now, and we just found this sick advertising right here for. Cowboy Bebop, Cowboy Bebop. 
Okay, we just found this sick ad right here for Cowboy Bebop and Chase has got to get his picture in front of it. So this is my new friend, Spike Spiegel. He's so funny to be with. When do you ever see Spike Spiegel see you, spicy nudes? Huh? What? More pictures? Just down the road from where we were staying was a huge Bass Pro Shop. This is one of the largest I had ever seen. So we had to take some time and go check it out before we head for Santa Rosa, Florida and Destin Beach. Look at that fancy little alligator. And there's a tackle shop on the lake over here. And there's some camping stuff upstairs. I don't think he's following Osha long. Dude, that one's pretty cool. How about one of these ones? Gilligan? No Gilligan. Oh yeah, red. Just go red, dude. You like the red? And that one looks vintage. Wait, can we go in the elevator, Chase? I want to go in the elevator, please. Yeah, now that's what that thing was behind the water is an elevator. Can you go on it? You go though? behind the water in the elevator. What do I do, dude? Red or yellow? I'll go for the yellow. I'm going in for my interview today for Best Pro Shop. I hope they like me. You look like you could work here. Do I really? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Buy or the whole whole outfit. Just get rid of those damn socks. <laughs> Chase just might become a country boy yet. <laughs> Dude, they probably don't even know he's there. Okay, this is seriously getting scary now. Underwater in the elevator. Elevators make me nervous. <laughs> oh wait, we're not even moving. Oh, we gotta push the floor going to go here. We just sit in here for a little bit. We go. That's not a big old fish. Is that a real alligator? You're gonna see a real alligator before this entire trip is over. Look at all the dude, the flying ducks up here. They put too much work for that, I think. Um, I think it was it, dude. Don't be a turkey. That's like a Quads, quadding, everything at this Bass Pro. Probably don't have Rice Krispies, though. They don't have Rice Krispies. I was wrong. Not everything. Well, uh, you really are not a hunter, not yet. We are done with the Bass Pro Shop, and now we're off to Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. That's what we do, that's what we do. <laughs> we made it in yesterday evening to Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. And now, we're getting ready to go check out the white sandy beach and the blue water. We have a little guy. We have a big guy. We have a little guy. We have a big guy. Papa. Papa. Boy. Papa and boy. Adventure with Papa, boy, and Mama, Mama. Look at the beach, Chase. Look at the sand. That's crazy. Dude, that it looks sand like is... salt. <laughs> that sand is white uh -huh. sand. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. And the water is yeah. so blue. Yeah. Here we go. Blue water. White sand. This is what it's all about. This is what we've been driving for days for. Are you kidding me? You want to know that this is real? Let's see what Chase's reaction is. Okay, this is crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's all we can say. It's just wow. Whoa. Now that's some soft sand out here. The sand on the beaches in this area are a quartz sand, and it's described as being like a fine white sugar, and that is a perfect explanation of what this sand is like. It was bright white and felt amazing to walk on with your bare feet. We made it. We got our spot on the beach. Chase just went on a walkabout. A lot of young people here, and he wanted to get away from mom and dad for a while. He's out walking around.
Florida life going on right now, walking down the beach. On a nice white sandy beach. Come back smoking wet like a <laughs> you took a shower. I threw my arm out there. It's like, oh nope. No. We got ourselves a good old Florida monsoon coming through here. A cold front came in over last night, so it's a little colder than normal here right now. Have to wear my jeans right now because <laughs> I'm a little bit shivery. I think someone's shivery. So there's gonna be no beach, no beach today, no ocean, no water. So we thought we'd drive around. Destin, Florida, check out some of the, I guess, cool places to go. And we're now we're gonna go check out Fud Puckers. And I did not cuss when I said that. It's actually called Fud Puckers. Is it called Fud Puckers? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's an alligator. That's a, that's a real alligator. <laughs> real alligator that is trained to sit very still. They said that was the size of the alligator that they got. Fud Puckers has become famous for its great food, world famous t shirts, and fun atmosphere. Fud Puckers is also home to the world's greatest alligator park, Gator Beach, and that's what we came here for. Not real, not yet. Let's go check out the real ones. They're hanging out on each other. Look how they slid around, dude. There's babies in there. And that net. They're babies. Did you get the sign Gator Beach? I got the sign that said Gator Beach. Look how big they are. Oh yeah, they are moving very nicely today. Look at them. Them guys just cute little alligators right there. Seen them like that and not looking so big, they don't look so threatening, do they? Uh, we're gonna be feeding these guys some chicken gizzards today for y'all, see if we can drum up a couple of alligators here. 
people of them already know what time it is, especially this guy, he's already with my ass. Now, since alligators are often placed in the bush, that means that they come across something dead, alligator. That's the only things that will try to kill them called alligator. We got to see alligators, and alligators get fed. Learn a little about alligators, and basically what I take away from that is for sure don't want to mess with an alligator. <laughs> and I pretty much can't outrun an alligator, and I can't outswim an alligator, and an alligator bites pretty hard. Little sleeping baby alligators. <laughs> oh, here's a little guy right here. Look at this little guy. Don't go away, guy. Don't go away. Oh. The albino gator. Have you seen an alligator in that position? Run like crazy, but run in a zigzag pattern. You gotta find a special place to get your special sand. Is this a good spot? This is good. This is, I just want clean sand. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Jamie got her sand in. She's getting all packed in just right. Putting a little cork on there. And she's so excited to have this special sand from Destin Beach. Look at the special sand from Destin Beach. Look at that. And it's even got a price tag. I'll wow, that up. sand cost you money? No, just the bottle. <laughs> no, it's just the bottle. No, no, was it cheesy? You know what it was? It was cheesy. It was crazy silly, that's why. No, not really. Take Cute little there. bottle though, you can go buy in the little the little surf store. I think I already got and then fill it up with the surf store. Fill it up with sand. So cute. Destin Sand and Chase is just out here dying, hanging out with mom and dad, just ready to go. He hates these little old people things we do. <laughs> Suffering. Out of all the different beaches Jamie and I have been to throughout our lifetime, Santa Rosa and Destin Beach are definitely at the top. What? What? What are you talking about, buddy? I'm running out of here! Sick What an amazing place. And we wish we had more time to spend here exploring the area, walking the beaches, playing in the water, and for Jamie, collecting seashells. We definitely hope to come back here again at some point. But our beach time isn't done yet, as we will continue to work our way down the Gulf of Florida, enjoying Florida's beautiful beaches. <laughs> I so got my weird. sand in my pocket. <laughs> Bottle of sand, and you've got a handful of shells. <laughs> a lot to remember Destin Beach by. Okay. Tomorrow we work our way around the Gulf on the west side of Florida, just south of uh, Clearwater. So that's where we head next. Continue this journey through Florida and continue checking out the cool beaches here. We like the beachy stuff. We, do. we like the tropical stuff. So this is right up our alley. Oh, sorry, that was cheesy again. <laughs> <laughs>